Warning, the following program contains scenes of graphic stupidity between a man and some games. Don't take anything Android say too serious, I'm just messing around. This video should not be viewed by anyone. How's it going everybody? Today we are back in Scum. Now the last time we played Scum I actually jumped back on Europe Official 1, the server where I usually play on. I took a bit of a break from it but now I am back on there. And the last time we played I started fresh on there and I did manage to gather myself a few items from around the world. I found an M9 pistol with a handful of bullets and a magazine, a shotgun, an AKS as well, and a couple of other items. And since I kind of found all of these things, I decided to try and sell some of them over at the Before Outpost. But as I was making my way down to the Before Outpost, I ran into a player. I said hello, he was fresh, so I said hello, and he greeted me by throwing <laughs> a hacksaw right at my face. So naturally, I blasted him. But he did have an AK on him, which was great for me because I took the AK and I sold it over at the outpost alongside a couple of other items that I found around the world. And I did manage to make a bit of money that I used to buy myself some armor and a few other items as well. And today we are actually going to pick up right where we left off over at the before outpost. I stood there for a quick second, I kind of lurked around until daytime came. And afterwards I headed over into sector B3. Ooh, Carbon Hunter? What? I kid you not, I have not had one of those since they came out. So... We're grabbing it. Alright, so I've been looting these garages here and I actually managed to find a couple of things. I found a couple of these padlocks. I'm gonna try and make a lock just so we have it on us. And then I found some screwdrivers and one... <laughs> One single bobby pin so we can craft this into a lockpick or we can turn it into a lockpick and we're gonna be able to open up one of the locked containers from the uh, from the police department. I was hoping to find like a box of bobby pins but it's just none to be found. Maybe, maybe we're gonna find one in the actual police department. Sometimes we can find them. Let me see here. The town seems to be pretty chill. For now. So let's see if we can actually see if we can actually find anything up in here. No way! Safety pin box, here we go. Finally. Here we go. Now we're talking. Alright, let's make our way upstairs. Take a quick peek around. Maybe we can find a bigger backpack and then we shall. Open up these locked containers. Right, usually there's backpacks in these cages, but... Uh, no lock today. Nope. Oh my goodness. Pope just chilling. Alright, let's see if we can find anything in these... Um, in these locked containers. We got two out here, up here. We got a couple downstairs, so let's see here. Let me make another one. There we go. Another one of these uh, lockpicks. Now the first container has... It has? <laughs> alright. Alright, 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 alright. Come on, come on, come on. Second one has nothing. All right. Well, it's a golden dig. I mean, I mean, we need a bigger backpack or a quiver or something. Or I need to make some space. All right, let's. Oh boy, what do I ditch here? So I made a little bit of space for the golden deagle and I also opened up the rest of the containers from the police department and I did manage to find the magazine for my M9 pistol and some uh, 45 bullets as well. And after looking around the town for a bit longer I headed over to the B3 train yard where I didn't really find much my first time around. And I say my first time around because the server restart cut me inside of it so I took a quick break and admired the outfit that I put together. By the way, I haven't even noticed this, but look how uh, how co color coordinated my character is besides the shoes. The shoes, we, we need some boots, we need some dark boots, but the jeans with the shirt, they're both blue. 
they match the vest to the gloves and the pistol they're both darker colors so they kind of match together and of course my bright red head <laughs> it's such a bad idea having red hair in an open world pvp focused game because there's a it's just a straight up big red target running around <laughs> But you know, it makes the game more hardcore, so we're gonna we're gonna do it. And my second time around looting the place was not that successful either. What I really wanted was some stuff for the carbon hunter, since I haven't really used it since it was introduced to the game. So I kind of wanted to find some bullets, a scope, a magazine for it, uh, but I couldn't find any of that. So I decided to leave the train yard, and I started heading a bit more north, and I stopped in Zagorje to try and craft myself a lock since I had a toolbox on me and a couple of padlocks as well. All right, so I've made a quick pit stop in Z-Town, also known as Zagorje over in, uh, in, in C3 because I actually have four padlocks, one, two, three, Four. I just need one more in order to make a full-fledged lock so we can have it on us and if I need to take a break I can just lock myself in a room or if we actually find a vehicle we can uh, we can lock it up. I've already checked the PD and a couple of other spots here so I only want to check these garages and if I can't find one we'll just head up north. Oh my gosh, screwdriver. Two uses. Okay, we're gonna sacrifice the one use. We're gonna pick up this one. So I wanna have a, a bit of a lock on me because if I am to check it out, we found it. If I am to take a bit of a break, I don't have to log off. I can just lock myself in a room or if we're doing our business. We can uh, we can lock ourselves in a room without the worry that somebody's just gonna run up on us. And this is going to clear out a little, bit of a, a little bit of space in my inventory as well, which is nice. I got myself a tactical sweater. And I can pick this back up as well. I threw away my, my last tactical sweater because I needed some space. So now I picked up another one because I'm planning on heading a bit more north. And just as I said, after making the lock, I started heading a bit more north. I hit up a couple of small towns looking around for food and things like that. I've also hit up a... World War 2 bunker where I did find some ammunition for the hunter which was great and after that I headed to a place where we have not been in quite a little bit of time and that is the C2 radio tower oh oh he's on oh my goodness I even spot this guy all right so we are over at the radio tower I've actually not been here in in quite some time so I'm happy to be back here I love this place. I love C2 in general, but the downside is the wetness, of course. Our boots get wet. So right now my boots are at 98.0 <laughs> wetness. So yeah, we can get a trench foot up here in the uh, in the snowy beds. Ooh, a machete. We got sunflower seeds. So which which one do you guys like better? Uh, let me see if I can put it. Hold on. This one? Damn it! Can I? Come on. Hold on. Hold on. This one or this one? So which one do you guys think looks better, the Danny Trejo machete or the Fuster machete? Now, I'm partially towards this one when it comes to the design. It looks much better. It's got the, the holes. It's got that nice uh, leather wrapping around the uh, the hilt as well. This one is kind of basic and simple, but it looks cool as well. Let me know which one you guys like better. Oh, what's the percentage on this one? 60, 54? Ah, not that big of a difference. All right, let's take a quick peek around, see what we can see. And then I'm actually going to head over to the outpost. I'm probably gonna set the dig and a couple of other things and uh, hopefully we'll make enough to to get a scope for the um, for the sniper rifle. Okay. 
Come on. There we go. So if we will get enough money to buy a hunter scope and a magazine as well. I'm not exactly sure how much it's gonna cost me, but we'll probably need at least one or two thousand. What is that? A helmet? Oh, we're picking that up and we're selling it. Yes, yes, yes. So right now I have this boonie hat on. Which kind of ruins my outfit if I'm gonna be honest. We got a pistol there as well. I mean... You look much better without it, right? This looks much better. But we're gonna pick this up and we're going to sell it. There's also a pistol here, but good lord, I got, I got like no space. What can I even sacrifice at this point? Oh, I can put it in my holster and then we'll have the M9 in our hands. What was it? Right here, so we can put this here. And then we can alternate between them, hopefully. If push... I mean, there's no point in me taking this out, so... I just gotta be careful not to drop this and forget about it. And we have some 22 here as well, but again, oh, let me eat this. There you go. <laughs> here we go, and here we go, and I, I'm heading straight for the outpost. Even if we don't make enough money, we'll make some space at least. Alright, so I've sold a couple of things, I managed to make a little bit of space in my inventory and I've also made a pretty penny, I've made over 2000, so hopefully we'll have enough to actually buy some things for the for the Carbon Hunter, because I, as far as I can remember, I haven't really used it since it came out, so let's see if we can actually get it going and maybe we'll be able to use it at some point here. Okay, I just closed the door right in my face. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so we have 2,300, so first things first, we're going to need a Carbon Hunter magazine. So a Carbon Hunter magazine, it's a thousand? Alright, I'll take it. One thousand for this thing? Come on. And I still have a thousand, so... Guns come unloaded. Security reasons. Let's see if we can Obviously. also get a scope. So I'm hoping that the, the hunting scope will go on there. But as we can see, I don't have enough money to buy it. I can take the P uh, the P223 scope, but I I don't know if it works on the on the hunter. Oh my god, check it out. 1292. Exactly as much money as I have. 1292. This is a sign, it's definitely going to fit on my on my hunter. Check it out. It's a sign, it's definitely going on the hunter. Damn it! <laughs> it, <laughs> it doesn't wanna... Damn. Well that's unfortunate. <laughs> uh. Alright, well at least we got a magazine, eh? We can uh, we can have a full mag in our uh, in our hunter. Why does that not go on uh, on the hunter? I didn't have enough money for for the hunting scope. Oh, do we need a rail for this? I don't even remember. It didn't reload, I did it. Nope. Fake reload. And now there we go. Now it's loaded. Do we need a? We might need a rail. I don't. I, I don't remember. We either need the hunting scope specifically or we need a, a rail, I actually don't, I don't remember. But we'll figure it out next time because I'm going to stop. It's already like the afternoon and I swear I started playing at 9 in the morning, so... <laughs> so here we are, that's uh, that's about it for right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get some lunch. I hope you've enjoyed, it hasn't been the most eventful day unfortunately, but... It was a lot of fun nonetheless. I hope everybody enjoyed. In case you did, be sure to drop some stuff and things down below. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for taking the time and hanging out. And I will see you in the next one with some more video games.